we opened up the camper the other morning. I don't know where we were. And uh, saw this laying on the floor. It's some kind of roller that screws into something. So I started looking underneath it and I can, I can see where this goes back. So it seems simple enough just to, to put this back in, but by the slide, by the slide. So this kind of goes in the slide, slide rolls on top here, but I was looking at the other rollers and they have something on the end, which a bolt or a nut, which I can't find. I looked all over. So it's quite possible that the nut fell off and fell out of the camper when we had the slide open. So I got some new nuts. Uh, uh, <laughs> new nuts uh, with a nylon fitting on the end so I can tighten it down and hopefully it won't back off. But when I was crawling around looking, trying to figure out what was going on here, I looked at all of the other rollers underneath here and honestly, everything is loose. Uh, it's, it's a little crazy. So it's been maybe three or four days since I noticed that in those three or four days, the slide has not gone back out. So my job today, which should be pretty quick, really is just, I'm gonna put this in and install it and then I'm gonna tighten down all of the other nuts. So I'll kind of show you what that looks like. Here's a roller, and here's where the roller is not. So I'm going to put the roller in through here, and then put the new nut on and then tighten it down. This guy right here, this is actually loose. I can move it with my fingers. So I'm going to tighten this down with a socket set. That did it though. Right. You think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah nice. Okay. I don't hear you cussing. Why would I cuss? That helps. It doesn't work. Try it. No. Just throw out a good Mother f How's that? Good. Did it help? No. Right here we can see it's loose in the front. And then I can't really see in the back. Maybe loose in the back too. Oh, and loose on this side too. I need to lose about 50 pounds to slide under here. In the front, I got these tightened, but we can see way down there, 
there's more to tighten. I, I don't literally know if I can fit my arm through this spot. And then on the other side, we can see we've got one way down there that's loose as well. So I think we're going to break Noel out for this. What did you say? <laughs> you sound like you said boo. -hoo. I can't do it. Okay. No, this is too big. Let me see. For today, we're going to call it good. So we got them tightened down in the front, in the, for me, the back right corner. The corner up here, the slide rail underneath the refrigerator, were tightened in the front, but we physically, we just can't get to the, the bolt and the nut uh, easily from the outside. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a, a finger joint for my, uh, whatever, my, my ratchet set. I'll get a finger joint and then I'll get like, like yeah, like a, I don't know, like a foot extension bar. So then we can fit it in on the inside, finger joint it out, and then be able to have room on the outside to ratchet. Well, you can fit the socket head on, but as soon as you put the wrench on, the socket or the bolt, here's the nut, here's the roof so the wrench is taller than the socket to the roof so the wrench can't fit on well we're gearing up for snow so i made a trip uh the other day to walmart in search of the parts that i need to hopefully be able to adjust uh the slide bolts and nuts from a distance so I got some extension bars and I had to buy like a three-piece you know finger set or I'm sorry universal joint set well I only needed one but it was uh <laughs> it was like six bucks seven bucks so yeah whatever so really not high quality parts this hyper tough but they they're cheap and they kind of hit the spot so I'm going to use those today uh, this morning before the snow gets here this afternoon uh, so I can just be done with this project completely. There you have it. So that worked okay for us. Uh, I can't complain. So tools I ended up using, uh, obviously my, my ratchet, then I think this was a, well look, I don't have to guess. This was a 10 inch extension, a six inch extension, universal joints, then two different size on the socket. So we've got a 14 millimeter and a 13 millimeter. Don't ask me why, they're different sizes. Uh, I think the, the bolts that were closest to me were the smaller size, the, the 13 millimeter, and the bolts that were further away were 14 millimeter. I'm sure they probably have different purposes. Don't know, don't care. So I, this was just not something that was ever on my radar that I needed to be checking on a regular basis. It's absolutely on my radar now. Uh, I mean, we only lost one bolt that fell off, but we were on the, the cusp of losing at least three more of falling out. So not a great situation. What I don't know is what kind of grease I'm supposed to be using on my, my rails here. Uh, I'm assuming some kind of silicon grease. Uh, don't know. Uh, something for me to find out, but right this moment, I'm, I was more concerned about completely losing contact with the rails than I was about what kind of grease to use. Today, we'll call it good. We'll look forward to seeing you next week.